Let's face it, the Notion mobile app can be kind of difficult to use. Notion is a really complex system and it's hard to fit it into that little tiny app. I'm here to share a few of my tips and tricks to make it easier to navigate and overall more fun to use. So grab your phone and let's get started. Most of us probably use Notion on our desktop. I certainly do, and for that reason, I ignored the Notion mobile app for the longest time. But if you're like me and you want to use the Notion app as your all-in-one place to capture all of your information, you're gonna want the mobile app to be functional for you. And not only functional, but easy to use and navigate. If something's hindering you from using the mobile app, you're just not gonna use it. So today I'm showing you my favorite tips to make Notion more mobile friendly. So I'm actually going to start by taking a look in the desktop version of this and setting those things up in desktop because I think that's easier. And then we'll go ahead and look and see how they look on mobile. One thing that I absolutely love to do is adding this mobile navigation bar that you see right here at the top. Now this is actually a synced block, which means it appears multiple different places throughout my template. And it's actually pretty easy to set up. So let me show you how I did it. I'm gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom here. So I have a little blank spot. And basically this is just a text block that I added in all these different places that I wanted to link to. And then I added those links in. So as an example, I'm gonna want to link to my homepage. So I'll type in LifeHub. And then I like to add a cute little icon or emoji in between them just to make it look nice. So if you have a Mac, you can go to the emojis and symbols and grab any of those symbols there. I grabbed a little flower cause I think it looks cute. I just like to add five spaces, paste the emoji or symbol, and then add five more spaces. And then I can start on my next link. Link my meal planner. And my goal planner. And I'll call that good for now. But next we're gonna go ahead and link them. So if you just highlight over the text, you can choose link and then you get to pick the page that is popping up for you depending on what you want. So this one, I want my meal planner. I'm gonna go ahead and actually search for that one. And then my goal planner, I'm gonna search for that one as well. And then there you go. So now to make this a synced block, all we're going to do is click on copy here, copy link to block, and then you're gonna go wherever you want it to be and click paste. And then we're gonna choose paste and sync, and that's what makes it a synced block. Now that also means if you change it anywhere throughout the template, it will change in all of those places. So as an example, if I go and type in the first block, pretend I'm adding another link, you see it populates in the second block that we made. So they always stay the same. So for me in mine, I have some of the most popular things that I like to click on back and forth and I have them in multiple pages. So if I go to my daily planning page here, you can see that it's got the exact same sync block right at the top. So I can still access all of those pages. Now, if we go into the Life Hub on my phone, as you can see, that navigation bar is right at the top. This makes it super easy for me to just click into my other pages, find the other pages that I want really easily. And overall, it makes navigation so much more simple. Now I've seen a few people suggest that you use the breadcrumb block at the very top of your page, because that way you can see the page structure that you have going on throughout your template and easily navigate in between those pages. But I actually don't love that idea and here's why. Let's say I want to go into my goal planning page and then scroll down here, go into my Q1 check-in and pop into my reading goal for this year. At the top of the page, if I had a breadcrumb block right here, it would immediately list all of those pages I just went through to get to that page. But if you're on mobile, you can actually go backwards by just swiping to the right like this. So that is a really quick and easy way to navigate between those breadcrumbs without actually clicking on a link. So I can very quickly go back to my goal planning page. And again, my navigation bar is right up here. If I wanted to instead go to my daily planning page, instead of going back to my life hub, then I can do that right here. And if you had a breadcrumb, it would not let you do that. 
Again, from the daily planning page, I can always just swipe right back to get where I was. Or again, I have my Life Hub linked right here in my navigation bar. So when you set up your navigation bar, I encourage you to pick pages that you're gonna bounce between very often to make it really easy to navigate. The next thing I love to do is having a little quick ad spot. <laughs> And this can be anything that you think that you're going to want to add very quickly from your phone. For me, it is new tasks, new random thoughts, or new events. Because I feel like if I was out in public doing something, something came up and I needed to write it down really fast, those are the type of things I'm going to want to write down. I shared a little bit more about this in my 2024 Notion tour, so you can go check out that video if you want to learn more. But I will show you a little peek at my new task button. Now I have a few things that are editing this individual page when I make these tasks. But the biggest thing to note here is that I'm adding a new task to my task database and then I'm also opening that page in a side peek. The reason we're doing side peek here is that if I want to do it on my laptop, this is a super easy way to see that page very quickly. But then on my phone, that's just gonna open as a new page. I want my page to open right away so that I can add any extra information to the task that I want to note, as well as putting in what that actual task is. That way I'm not running around trying to find the database that it belongs to to add a new task there. Now you might also notice that there is a little orange border around this block, which means it is also a synced block. I like to put this block on my daily planning page as well so that it's easy access for me. Now, speaking of easy access, one of the most important things that you can do to help your navigation on mobile is pay attention to your layout. When you open Notion on mobile, the first thing you're going to see is what's at the top of your page, right? But if you have columns, like I do in my page here, you can see there is this left-hand column. That is the first thing you're gonna see. You're always gonna see the left column first, then the middle column, and then the right column. Or if you just have two, it'll be the left and then the right columns. So anything that you wanna access on your phone right away, you want to have up here in this top left-hand corner. So as you saw on the desktop version, when I hop over to mobile, the first thing I'm gonna see is my navigation bar. And then I'm gonna see what's on that top left-hand corner, which is my quick add and then my bigger navigation tab where I can just pop open whatever I want to find the page that I want. And then to show you the quick add in action, if I just hit this new task button right here, I can type in whatever my task is. categorize it if I want. Or with the way that I have my template set up, I can just leave this for later and categorize it later. Either way, that was a super quick way for me to add a task on my phone with very little effort. By the way, if you are loving the ease of this template, I do have this exact template available in my template shop. You can go check that out. I will leave the link in the description of this video. Now, this tip is kind of outside of the Notion app, and that is using widgets on your home screen. Don't judge my home screen. I definitely need to redo the theme that's going on here. But as you can see on my home screen, I do have a few Notion widgets that I love to have here. One links directly to my daily planning page. So if I go ahead and click on that, it will take me right there. This is a page I use very often to check in and I can just scroll down here to my agenda for today and see the tasks that I need to do. The other widget that I like to use is my favorites. Now, this is another little tip. If you favorite pages that you use frequently within Notion, they're gonna show up on the top of your navigation bar. As you can see right here, I have my favorites. And then if you're in desktop version, they're gonna be at the top left hand of your sidebar as well. But you can also add a widget to access those favorites super quickly from your homepage on your phone. To add a widget, all you have to do is press and hold on your screen click on the plus button on the side, and then scroll down and find the Notion app. Then you have a couple different options. You can link a specific page, one that you might frequent often, or again, you can choose those favorites, or you can choose your recents. So if there's anything that you were recently visiting on your desktop that you maybe want to access on your mobile device, you can do that by using that recents widget. Once you add that guy to your home screen, it will show up just like mine are. Those are my favorite tips for using Notion on your mobile device. As you can see, it is very focused around navigation because that can be the biggest hindrance. But luckily, there's some really easy ways to keep that in mind as you're designing your Notion pages and just make it way easier on you.
If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know down in the comments which of these tips you are going to use. As always, I am sending you guys all of the best Notion vibes and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.